But uh, let's pull in uh, another mid-cap company that came out with a set of numbers. Walsh and Nagar, the numbers um, appeared rather weak, actually. We're joined currently by Mr. Pillay, the MD and the CEO of the company. Hi, Mr. Pillay. Thanks so much, sir, for waiting by. Um, you know, there's so much of talk about the defense push, uh, but it's not really replicating in the numbers. First half of the year, you've done roughly around 180 crores. Uh, you had told us your target earlier was 500, 550 crores. Are you sticking to that target? And also the PBT target of around 60 crores, uh, is that intact? Second half of the year is going to be so good? Yeah, if you look at the... Yeah, good afternoon to you. If you look at the results for the quarters, the Q2 of 16, 17, you will find that there has been an increase of 30% over revenue over the previous quarter. Number one. And number two, as I said in my last meeting itself, that there has been an operating cash profit which has been which has come after quite a long time. So these are two significant positive aspects as far as this quarter has happened. Uh, the, to the question that what happens to the defense and the nuclear business, yes, for the year we are actually projecting for the next two quarters almost about 300, 350 crores, okay. which will really uh, overall end of the year will be about 500 to 550 crores and we should be able to turn around the corner. That's a positive aspect as far as uh, Walsinagar Industries is concerned. Uh, the second point is with regard to the, as I said, the main focus the company is now putting into only the DNA. As I said earlier, the DNA of Walsinagar Industries will now change to DNA, that is defense, nuclear and aerospace. And we see a good Positivity happening in these years. Okay. Yeah. So you are guiding for a 500 to 550 crore of revenues in F5 uh, 17, sir. What about uh, at, at the PBD level, if you could give us your guidance on that um, for the full year, as well as what your guidance would be on cash profit, since you did turn you know, positive on the cash profit front this quarter. Yeah, on the cash profit front, obviously, as I said, we have already been positive. And if you really look at some of the, you know, other expenses or uh, it's basically in exceptional items with regard to the very old provisions in terms of the legacy projects in the sugar and energy. Now, that has been these two large projects that the company has been, you know, executing for almost about five to six years, mm. both in the Ethiopia as well as in TNAB. Both these are in the final stages. The Ethiopian project, the first phase, should be completed by December of 2016, and we'll see a positive outlook in the company's overall PBG levels. Similarly, the TNAB, TNAB fund itself, at least five projects are being planned to complete it by uh, January, February of 2017. So end of the year, the legacy projects will be really going off yeah. and the company will be able to concentrate on the DNA business, the defense, nuclear and aerospace business. All right. Uh, so then uh, could you tell us as well, uh, you know, what's your current order book, uh, your defense order book? I think last time you told us it was around 500 crores and also the remainder of your business. I think you're into cement, you're into, uh, you know, power as well as the sugar, as you mentioned. Uh, any kind of problem in terms of this demonetization? Can it, you know, can it impact your uh, third quarter, fourth quarter? So as far as we are concerned, obviously that is not going to make any impact in terms of uh, the business revenue for the company. But to answer your question, the order booking is almost about 900 crores and still about 550 crores is now in the defense, nuclear and aerospace sector. The positive aspect which I thought we should be knowing is uh, for a long time there has not been much an activity on the ground level as far as the defense order inflow is concerned. I am happy to say that, yes, there has been a very big change in the last quarter. Many of the tenders are in the final stages. And we see in the next six months, that is before March 2017, there will be considerable order inflow as far as the defense business is concerned. There is already a positive inflow is happening in terms of the aerospace business, which with uh, from six launches per year, the ISRO is planning to have 12 launches, and then again, it is going to be increased to 18. So WIL will be able to play a major role in this expanded business for the aerospace. And the most important thing which is, uh, you know, the company is beyond today is with regard to the uh, decisions happening in the nuclear segment. For a long time there has been lull, and we find that many of the uh, nuclear tenders as far as the 
Gorakhpur project is concerned is in the final stages and in the next, this quarter or the next quarter before the end of this financial year, a considerable amount of decisions will be taken in the nuclear park and the company expects to get a good share of its uh, business from this nuclear business. Okay, so, so on the whole, the next half in terms of order inflow, we feel that it will really be, because for the last four or five years, there has not been much order inflow across various such heavy engineering companies. And I, I think the trend is already started reversing and the company expects to really do well in the next uh, three months to six months time frame. Okay, so we leave it at that. Thank you so much for joining in and all the best for the coming quarters.